what you're watching right now is a series of chess games that together you can directly convert back into a stupid image of Mr. Krabs. It is a tiny resolution 9 kilobyte image and requires 98 chess games and over 19,000 moves. In fact, these games are being played automatically by two bot accounts on Lee Chess, technically uploading this file to cloud storage. But how can you make files from chess moves? Every file you have is made up of binary, just long strings of zeros and ones. In an image, each little part of this represents a pixel. In our case, we need to assign bits of this to a chess move, so how do you do that? Well, at the beginning of the game, the board looks like that. White always goes first, and thus always has a selection between 20 legal moves. If you give half of them here a value of 0, and the other a value of 1, then each move can now be a small part of the file. But the thing is, you don't only have two legal moves here, so you may as well use a unique combination of digits rather than only one, which lets you store more information in a single move. Now, of course, the game will also end at some point by checkmate or some kind of draw, so once that happens, we'll need to tell it to start a new game. You'd also have to consider positions with only one legal move, the end of the game, because it prevents even the simplest choice between a 0 and a 1. And well, that's pretty much it. Okay, I've basically just implemented the algorithm with Python. Which numbers go to which move is just decided by the order in which the chess library gives them to us. So I've got this secret message here to encrypt into a chess game, which I can do by running the script. And I'll get this PGN file here that holds the message. So yeah, I can now convert things into chess games. But I feel like this raises the question, why would you ever do this? And make no mistake, it isn't that useful past being kind of cool. But I guess you could use it to hide secret messages. As another idea, you could even play these games on a chess website like chess.com or Lee Chess, technically uploading a file to a source of free cloud storage. So anyway, let's turn Lee Chess into Google Drive. I'm just going to draw a little icon for the website here. Are Knights in Chess meant to look like this? Alright, so I just made a random web interface for this where you should be able to upload a file here and then have it in a file list down here for you to download. To upload a file to Lee Chess, we'll need two accounts to play its corresponding games. The reason I picked Lee Chess over chess.com is because they let you create bot accounts, which I can control from my own program. So behold, my two new accounts, Wintercat Spongebob and Patrick. Now using the Leeches API, you can send a request to the server on behalf of Spongebob who will ask to challenge Patrick to a game. He will automatically accept it and begin following the current EGN of the file. Okay, so here it is. They should start playing when I run this script. Let's upload a file. It has finally finished, and it only took 90 minutes. So I can click on this file now, and it will decode chess games from Lee Chess, giving me the original file. So technically it is free cloud storage, because you can have as many games as you want in your account, but of course it's still garbage, because it uploads at a speed of probably 2 bytes per second, so I really don't see this as a practical way to store anything besides text files and secret messages. But maybe that's still useful. Who will win today between Carlsen and Hans Niemann? Their game starts off with an unconventional opening. The queen is blundered, but black doesn't see it. And after their beautiful knight f6, Carlsen immediately resigns. The chess world is shocked, but within the game lies a hidden message. Subscribe.